Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today I just wanted to talk about sort of an interesting change I guess I've seen. It's not so much a change, but it's more an update around the RTX 2080. So when it launched, the 2080, 2080 Ti, and the 2070, a lot of people were very, uh, what's the right word, underwhelmed, uh, disappointed, frustrated. A lot of people had issues with it. This was mainly because they felt like they were having to, first of all, it wasn't a good enough upgrade over the previous generation. Uh, there's definitely something to say about that. And also they felt like the pricing was too high. Definitely legitimate arguments both ways. But now we're seeing that uh, as, as time's gone on and those prices have started to sort of come down, they were initially quite high. The Founders Edition from NVIDIA, that they're just that that sort of brought it all up to even more of what it should have. There was the base price and then there was like the founder's price. Uh, now it's all sort of settled down. What are my thoughts on it? And do I still think that the RTX 2080 is bad value? So I've been watching the used and new prices for the 1080 Ti and the 2080 in Taiwan and in other places. Uh, just to see if there's been any moves. Now, of course, you can't get a 1080 Ti new anymore. Pretty much every retailer you look at, they don't have them. Uh, so that means you're only going to have to you have to turn to the used uh, parts market, which is fine. If I'm looking here and many other places, though, what you start to notice is that good model 1080 Ti's are only slightly cheaper than brand new uh, 2080s entry-level model 2080s things like the EVGA black edition or the gigabyte wind force you know the ones that aren't fancy you wouldn't call them a high-end model by any means these are the ones that are at Nvidia's base pricing so that's interesting now because if you don't know the performance between the 1080 Ti and the 2080 very very similar they both have advantages in certain ways, so they're not completely the same. The 1080 Ti has the benefit of more memory and more memory bandwidth. However, the 2080 has those extra features. I know that I haven't spoken and I haven't, I, I still have a lot of uncertainty towards ray tracing, but of course, if it turns out to be a thing, then you're obviously gonna want the 2080 for that. DLSS is another one. Um, the 2080 does have a newer type of memory, but only has eight gigabytes, but also the 2080 will use less power. It's a lower TDP of 215 watts compared to the 1080i's 250 watt TDP. So with all that being said, do I change my opinion? Because in my initial RTX video, I said that the 2080 was really bad value for money. And at that time it was. And this is something Steve has pointed out as well over at Hardware Unboxed. But now, today, is that still the case? And I would say it is and it isn't. Let me explain. So the 2080, <laughs> it's better value now, I guess, given the way the market has sort of settled. If you have the choice of buying a used 1080 Ti or a brand new 2080 for just a little bit more, you would probably trend towards getting the 2080. Yes, you may not get quite as good of a model of card as you would with the 1080 Ti, but I think most people, when you're spending this sort of money anyway, you would like the peace of mind of buying something brand new because if you have any issues, you can just take it straight back to the shop. That's not to say buying a used one if there's warranty still on it and stuff like that, but you guys know what I mean. You know what I'm getting at. It's just that, that it's, it's so much easier and uh, there's that peace of mind there that I think a lot of people would maybe go, oh, it's only a little bit more, I'll just go for the uh, 2080. But at the same time, there's that, I don't know what the right feeling is, there's like, 
you don't feel like you're getting a good deal. You know what I mean? Like the 2080 came out and it just matches the 1080 Ti. So you're not getting like an upgrade. I mean, this is going to be redundant for people that are already running 1080 Ti's. Obviously, you just stay with what you have uh, or you'd upgrade to the 2080 Ti. But for everyone else, you kind of wish that the 2080 was had much better performance, even like 10% more performance, 10, 15% more performance. Then you would feel very much justified in your purchase. Okay, it's slightly more expensive than the 1080 Ti, but I'm getting 10% extra performance plus these new features and everything else. Now, Turing is still new. Pascal's been out for ages, so they've done a lot of optimization with it. And going forward, the focus will be on Turing as well in terms of optimizations. And there will be a few, quite a few there. It's very new. So we can expect Turing to get a lot better from where it is right now with Pascal. Uh, I think they've pretty much done all they can do, so to speak. So that'll be another factor moving forward. And maybe with more optimization, the 2080 may, might edge out a lead over the 1080 Ti because most of the time now they're both within margin of error. It's very game dependent. But if you sort of average it out, they're more or less the same. So maybe that will be something that happens going forward. But in the case right now, I do have to say, if you are someone out there, depending on the country you live in, this is very much dependent on where you live, then have a good look because you might be looking at used 1080 Ti's like I have been here in Taiwan. I've been watching them like a hawk. And I've been noticing that they all seem to hover around in Taiwan, the 20,000 NT mark, you know, and that... The, the cheaper models of 2080 come in at just under 24,000. So just 4,000 NT more, and you could get the um, uh, 2080. So it does make you think, you know, is it really worth it to go for those 1080 Ti's and uh, the, the sort of risk associated with it? Because maybe you get someone who's a bit dodgy, um, you buy it off them you take it home it doesn't work and then you try contact them or something else and they just don't want anything to do with you you hit up the manufacturer and maybe it's out of warranty maybe they never registered it. maybe there's some other discrepancies there maybe company policy and then you're in a bad situation so i think for many people when this sort of these are expensive graphics cards um sometimes they will trend towards more buying a brand new one but i want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below so in your country so first let me know what country you're in and then let me know when you compare used 1080 ti's to brand new 2080s what how much discrepancy is there between the price in both of them and out of the two even if you're maybe not in the market for them out of the two which one would you pick Maybe the discrepancy is actually quite large. Maybe a 1080 Ti is still much cheaper than the 2080, in which case you would go for that. Maybe in your country, they're exactly the same price, in which case you'd probably go for the 2080. I'd like to know in the comment section down below because here it's definitely changed a lot from what we saw initially when the 2080 launched. So that's going to round out this video, guys. Uh, it's been... A pretty tough week for me here. I don't know why I keep getting sick. You can probably still hear it in my voice. I keep coughing and, you know, it's just been a bit of a rough week. But hopefully, you know, things will start looking up and uh, I'll be back to normal soon enough. So I thank all you guys who are subscribed to Tech Showdown. You make me want to do these videos and give me so much support. So I thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.